today's video, we're going to take a look at AWS Textract, which is a service that lets you extract plain text from an image of text or a document. We'll take a look at a simple use case for uh, the service by uh, using this website called QR Menu Creator. It's a very cool website that lets you generate a QR code that links to your menu. You do that by entering the text for your menu on the left side as markdown and generating a menu such as this one. And then you can print a QR code that you will then put on your tables and then customers can use this QR code to access your menu without getting viruses from your physical menu. The problem we have is that uh, restaurant owners probably don't want to start typing in their menu from scratch. So this is a perfect use case for Amazon Textract because we can take an image, upload it to Amazon Textract, and then get plain text back and simply paste it into here. We'll see how to do it first using the console, and then we'll see how to do it using the API. And we'll be able to do it in only three lines of code. So let's try it out using the console first. I found this uh, website of a restaurant that has a sample menu. Um, and as you can see, the menu has a font that is uh, not very easy to analyze, but you'll see that Amazon does a pretty good job regardless. So what we're going to do is first, using the console, we're going to upload this menu and then take a look at what is the result that we get back. So after the analysis of the document, uh, it parsed it into lines, into rows of text. And as you can see here, we got a pretty accurate result. There are some mistakes here and there, like in here, and also this should be olive oil instead of olive dill. But besides that, the result is pretty accurate. It will definitely be much faster to fix these small mistakes uh, as opposed to typing it from scratch. So now let's take a look how we can do it using the API. And again, it will only take us three lines of code to actually uh, load the image, send it to AWS, and then parse the result. My channel, uh, Bite Size Academy, is all about short and practical videos that show how to use AWS services, just like this video. So if it's something that you find interesting, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Let's try to do the same using uh, the AWS API. So I have this node project here, and uh, in our package.json, we use the AWS SDK, and I specifically use TypeScript, but you don't have to use it. You can just use plain JavaScript. And what we do here is load the AWS SDK. We're going to use the file system. We initiate the API. And in here, we'll write our code that first will uh, read the image from the file system, then send it to AWS, and finally parse the result. So these are going to be our three lines of code that um, convert our menu into plain text. So first, we need to read the image from the file system. I have the image in here, and uh, let's uh, read it into a buffer. Now our buffer variable will contain uh, the buffer with the content of this image. Then let's send it to AWS using the TextTrack API. So what we're doing here is we're using the detect document text function and we pass it the, this parameter that it expects to get. And the only thing we pass it is actually the buffer of our image. And we ask to receive a promise back, but you can also use a callback. And finally, we're going to parse the result. But before we do it, let's try to print it to the console to see what is the result we get. We got this JSON response back and we have an array of blocks, and each block has a block type, the text, confidence, and other attributes. So the block type can actually be one of three types. It can be a page, a word, or a line. If we'll use the line block type, we can uh, extract all the rows in our document. So let's filter our result and only get the lines and then filter out the text attribute from them. So what we wanna do is first use the blocks object then we want to filter it. And then we want to extract and use only the text attribute from each block. 
finally we want to join all of the rows that we get back into a single large block of text that we can copy paste into our uh, menu generator so let's try running it again and see what's the result that we get and this is our menu as plain text so again what we did is we took the image of the menu and now we got the same back but as a plain text and what we can do now is copy paste this text into our menu generator so let's copy it into the clipboard now let's go back to our QR generator and paste the result into our editor now we can start fixing any small errors we have and uh, make sure that our menu looks nicer by editing it a little bit but from here on it's much easier to edit it and uh, make it nicer as opposed to uh, start typing it from scratch so if you're a restaurant owner and we don't have a lot of time, we can simply use Amazon Text Tract. It's a perfect use case for this and convert the image of our menu into plain text. If you enjoyed this video and find it useful, please leave it a like. And uh, if you want to be notified when I upload more videos about AWS services, please subscribe to this channel.